key developments in that Amtrak conductor shooting. We're hearing from his wife tonight about his health, his prognosis, and their love. Good evening. I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Rob Johnson. The wife of that wounded Amtrak conductor spoke to us just minutes ago by phone. This as the accused gunman appears in court facing attempted murder charges. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross is live outside the Naperville Police Department with the latest. Jeremy. Good evening, Rob. Good evening, Erica. Yeah, that call taking place at nearby Edward Elmhurst Health. Doctors there telling us the victim was brought in in critical condition. He remains that way at this hour. And while some health signs, they say, are pointing in a positive direction, he still has a long way to go. You never think your husband's going to go to work and be shot. The wife of an Amtrak conductor spoke with media over the phone days after he was shot on the job, including the word shared before he went into surgery. He just said to me, I love you, I love you, I love you. Doctors believe 45-year-old Michael Case was hit by a 38 caliber bullet. They say he went through six hours of surgery and multiple organs are injured. He's in the ICU on a ventilator in and out of sedation. We continue to ask for thoughts and prayers of everyone. Um, you know, Yes, we are holding up as, as best we can. 79 year old Edward Klein was charged with the attempted murder. The West Dallas, Wisconsin man was traveling back to Milwaukee when he was prevented by workers from leaving because it wasn't his correct stop. He allegedly told prosecutors, quote, the anger built up and I just blew him away. I'm praying for his quick recovery, as is uh, the Naperville Police Department. Commander Louis Camiso says Klein didn't have a significant criminal background. Investigators say they found newspaper clippings in the 79-year-old's apartment indicating he had a fascination with police-involved shootings. Law enforcement describes Klein attempting to escape through a train window but was held by passengers until police arrived. Without that, there's a possibility that uh, more people could have been injured or killed. The judge set Klein's bond at $1.5 million. Now, the fifth quarter, the victim's town of Homewood is trying to help up. They have set up a GoFundMe campaign to help the victim pay for medical expenses. Live in Naperville, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Robin Erica. Jeremy, thank you.